Hi, and welcome back to Star Wars Timeline. My name is Dan, and I'm continuing to play Knights of the Old Republic. This is my first playthrough in 17 years. As you guys can see, I decked out the game. You know, I made it very nice looking with HD graphics and all that stuff. I am on Taris right now, right? I infiltrated the Sith base, and we got to escape on the Ebon Hawk because Kandaris Ordo, the Mandalorian, has made us a deal, an offer we couldn't refuse. So let's push on. And for those of you guys who are joining me for the first time, I try not to talk during the dialogue lines and cinematics so you can enjoy the story with me. Anyway, I'm really feeling Bastila here. I enjoy using her. And that's what we're going to continue on doing. Let's keep going, checking out the Sith base. Okay, I think we're getting near to the... Oh. I came back. We gotta push forward, not back. Yeah, I think we're getting near to um, getting to Ebon Hawk. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my. Wait. I sense the force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a force adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the dark side. We're about to find out. Let me be an arrogant prequel era Jedi. Turn away from the dark side. It would lead you to anything but destruction. Spoken like a true drone of the Jedi Council. We Sith, however, have learned to embrace the potential of the dark side. It is what gives us strength. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you. Did you say stroke of luck? Word? I don't know why I automatically switched to my main character. I'm trying to rock Bastila here. Okay, who else needs a shield? Definitely. Ah, uh, my main character doesn't have shields. Well, we're working with what we have. Let's see if we can best this guy in, I'm here. in Mortal Kombat. Now that must have hurt. Ah, uh, he's after mission. Can we stun him? embarrassed his ass obviously he wasn't a boss but he's like my meditation chamber mm-hmm sounded just a tiny bit arrogant all right we got him yes 500 credits is this where we get that where are the co codes Oh, nice. Light battle armor. Is it something that Basil could put on, finally? No. See, with Basil, I think we need only robes. That's the only thing she can wear. All right. Prototype vibro blade. Yeah, these rifles are gonna they are two-handed rifles i'm gonna put them on um karth i'm here wait so where do we go from here nice <coughs> sorry guys let me sip some water All right, we, we found more stuff. That's good. <clears throat> shields, finally I found some shields. Gonna equip my main character. Yeah, let's see what's going on with that man. What map. can I do? Okay, I guess it's time to go back. Did I miss something? I guess I picked up the codes, right? Like, what happened last time? Well, let me see in... Uh... I 
Um, active quests. Okay. Escaping towers. Okay, you've recovered the departure codes. You need to escape towers. Now you just have to bring them back to Kandaris Ordo in the lower city cantina. Okay, all right. So pretty much as far as Sith base is concerned, mission accomplished. Guys, I thought it would be a lot more challenging than it really was. And it's all thanks to Bastila and her new powers. Because, like, it's really annoying running around with a bunch of medikits or med packs, whatever. And, you know, relying too much on item management. Now, all the stuff that I need, including the shields and healing, she can bring our party up to speed. Okay. As far as quests go, also, I tried to complete, you know, like main side quests and stuff, run around the, the maps, explore. I'm not in a rush to just run through the story. Okay, let's go to London City. What, she's gonna ask me about my papers again for the fourth time. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Here's my papers. What did you say, sir? Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, I guess you can go down to the lower city. Just be careful down there. Those swoop gangs will take a shot at anybody. Even our Sith patrols have come under fire. Like, you know, this particular Sith came with, like, the lowest grades in his class, and that's why they put him in this position, because he's good for nothing. He's just there to check papers at the doors. He's like, I'm a Sith, and I need to check your papers. Like, Jesus Christ, man. There was my cantina direction here. I always forget. Okay, it's this way. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. We're ready to say goodbye to Taris. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. I think we're good to go. Okay, let's join up. But how are we going to get inside the Davik's uh, estate? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Okay, he's joined my party and we're ready to do this. I love how he put Bastila back into her place again. Because, like, she's a habitual, like, line stepper, dude. She's like, oh, I'm the Jedi. I know how to do it. You're all just imbeciles running around. This is so reminiscent of prequel era Jedi. I just hate that attitude. He's like, uh, shut up for a moment, okay? Okay, we're good to go. I remember this.
You summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak? But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. Badass. This is why this game is so beloved. Because of badass characters like this. So, Candorous, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorous. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack. But you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorous has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Let's try to be polite and diplomatic. Or, it was nothing I couldn't handle. You know, Candorous was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer is intriguing. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. Mm-hmm. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. Guys, so many memories are flooding in. Now remember that there were not only two uh, gangs in Taurus, but there were three. One acted like the good guys. The other one are obviously the bad guys. And this one is almost like the ugly. It's almost like the good, the bad, and the ugly. Three different cowboys, three different factions. Each one is vying for power. That's very, very cool to remember. And once again, just looking at that background behind the Ebon Hawk, just seeing how like the tiny little updates to like the visual fidelity of the game, the graphics, I'm... I'm so inspired to play this all over again I'm like look you can play a game from way back 2003 and not have the update you know unreal engine 5 graphics and it still manages just to grab your attention and have tons of fun with it let's lie i'm looking forward to working with you davik you will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days i will not accept no for an answer feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay i must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callum. Let us leave our guests in peace.
Okay. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. God damn, look at that hand cannon on him. What? Okay, let's level him up real quick. Look at this guy. Look at this hand cannon. Yeah, this was one of the mods that I put on, which, like, look how detailed the weaponry looks. They really went into it. I'm here. I'm here. All right, I have no clue how to uh, get through. So we're just going to have to play it by ear and go around and talk to people and explore. Okay. Yeah, let's first try the doors which are not locked, right? Not to cause any agitation to the guards. I guess that was the... Okay, this could come in handy, probably. So there is a bunch of Twilight girls here, and I think some of them might give me details. Let's try it. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. Hmm. Okay, she's no help. Let's try another one. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the male slaves could serve your needs better. She says the same thing. Let's try this guy. Welcome to the slave quarters, mistress. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. Would you like a relaxing massage, mistress? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. I need some information. But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. Tell me what I want to know and I'll, I'll tell Davik to pl how pleased I was with your performance. I'm sorry, mistress, but the risk is too great. Davik will have me flayed alive if he finds out. Is there something else I may do to please you? Let's try to bribe him. Maybe 50 credits will loosen your tongue. I won't betray Davik's secrets for credits. They are of no use to a slave. Is there something else I can do for you? Hmm. Crap. I don't want to go the Sith route and like try to threaten him. How about a massage? As you wish, mistress. You will find this most relaxing. If you would come with me into the massage room at the back. I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills from previous clients. Let's try to compliment him. Let's see if it opens up any dialogue options, right? Um, it was everything I ever dreamed. You are truly an expert in your craft. Thank you, my lady. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik. He often rewards those slaves who perform their duties well. Is there anything else you require? Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. Your job isn't finished yet. I want another massage. But what could I possibly tell you? Let's try to ask again about um, persuasion. The praise from the guests is a valuable commodity here. Devik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Ebon Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Hudro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. Okay, we're onto something. Where are the torture chambers? I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters, and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. 
Please, I don't know anything else. Okay, I'll go now. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what we offer here. We exist only to serve. All right, so no matter what I do, it looks like I won't be able to escape quietly because he did warn me about more trolls in the corridor. Damn, what should I do? Should I, like, bust all of these doors? I'm gonna have to fight eventually anyway. You know what? What? Guys, just look at this hand cannon, dude. Massive. Because I don't want to miss an opportunity on just, like, getting items, too. Yeah. I remember this. Oh my god, all of these heads. I remember this stuff, guys. Look. We got a Rancor head. That's dope. Wow, just to open up one box. Yeah. You try to. What can I do? Everybody attack! Attack the box. Air trigger, a Zach card, Psh, all of that for a card, whatever. Oh, there's one more. Can I get something substantial here? Well, oh, 100 pre credits and data pad. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now I wonder, are they gonna start attacking me on site? You know what? Like, I don't care anymore. I'm just kicking ass. Anyway. Why are you here? Get out. I'm going to call the guards. I want to ask you some questions. Okay, sorry. I'll be going. Yeah, guys, I don't want to get in trouble. In terms of like my alignment, I want to be a good guy. I'm not gonna kill him unless I have to, or threaten people. Hey, what's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here! I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko sercha chupatanki. Hey, baby, wait! I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Oops, let me try to explain myself. No need to call the guards, I just got lost. Uh-uh, no way, you're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards if you live long enough for them to question you. Damn it. You shall fall. <laughs> Sorry, my man. Oh crap. Now that must be I did try to negotiate. Oh. No, let me not be tempted. I don't think I did anything wrong, right? Did I? Okay, there's plenty of rooms to explore. I don't think I did anything wrong, to be honest with you. I walked in, I tried to apologize. Okay. Okay, that seems to work. That seems to work. It's gonna annihilate the whole uh, gang. Oh. oh, I love using her. Thank God, finally, some useful skills. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to explore. 
I think I need to trace my steps back a little bit. Nah. I'm gonna use the computer. It's gonna be just balls out action. Just gonna kick ass. Gonna put my shield on. Let's go. You cannot win. Got this guy. I love that sound. It's the sound of victory. Boom. Look, Jedi need credits too, right? Can I get a couple of shields, please? Something a little bit more useful now. Um... Shoot, I don't have, I don't have Mission Vow here with me. I'm going to try to go solo. You guys stay over here. I'm going to go real, real sneaky. I don't know if I can pull it off. Shit. I tried. Was it worth it? Oh, it kind of was. Switch back our party mode and heal. Now I could take chances now. I can like I don't have to be as afraid about experimenting and looking at things. Here we are already. Let's explore the rest of this room. Remember playing it originally, I first did the regular rooms and then I started going into uh locked rooms. Ocean. Look. I'm so happy we're gonna get more of them in uh, the Book of Boba Fett uh, show. Guys, that trailer was so awesome. Okay, we got this. Oh, wow, there's tons of rooms here. Shit. Wait, can I put a shield on? Ah, oh, I don't have shield yet. He needs healing anyway. What can I do? Not good. Health. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. Okay. Couldn't just uh, sit by and just let you suffer. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Or... Okay, you're free to go. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. Run, we Forrest. We came for. We should get going. Run, Forrest. I'm here. Kinda, kinda wounded here. Starting to really, really appreciate Bastila. Despite all of that trash talking, he actually, it's like she puts her. Puts her money where her mouth is. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! 
I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. Let me try to persuade Line. Davik just wanted me to make sure you don't need anything. That is no excuse for incompetence. I gave very specific orders that were not followed. I'm going to summon the guards and report you to your superiors. I don't work for David, you overinflated windbag. Don't work for Davik. Then what? Plus, assassins, guards, save me! Ugh. You know what? I'm not gonna feel bad about this at all, dude. I am not feeling bad about this one bit. Wow, there's a lot of them. Use some metapacks. Wait, wait, where are you going, people? There's more. There's more where that came from. You shall massive all of because of one like buffoon who like who thought he's a somebody right all because of him i blame it all on him boom son sit down sit down all right can i get some items here please anything in fact that was quite satisfying I am aiming to be a Jedi. I did not antagonize this guy, right? I just wanted to see what's in there. And I tried to reason with him, but he wouldn't. So from the certain point of view, when you talk shit to Bastila, you you just... You end up on the wrong side of the... of a lightsaber. Okay, there's more. I missed. Nice energy shield. Okay. That's something I could use. We're actually sorry now. My oh my character has one. Okay, so this one goes to Kendaris. My I'm man, here. Right here. my man. What can I do? Ah, uh, you could heal everybody. All right, what else I need to go? I checked out this section. I did check out this section, right? No, I think I didn't. 500 credits. Yeah, I think his life was worth it. Nice. And caution, yeah, that was definitely a good pull. Smeared the floor with his body. Okay, let me see if there's another idiot sitting in there trying to argue with me. Oh, crap. There's a lot of... Strength. Here it is! Oh, that must have hurt. Damn, there's a lot of them. Now that must have hurt.
I love how he's just standing there. He's like, I'm lost. I'm a Mandalorian, but I don't know where to go. Dude, you let me down, bro. You let me down. Plenty of items. Okay. Yes, I'm basically circling around. Making good progress. Yeah, Ben Hawk. Yeah, it looks like I have the codes. As, as soon as I get to it, I think I'll be able to just get out. I do believe I have to lower the shields. If memory serves me right. Oh, I missed another thing. Right, it's okay. You need to find a computer panel to disable this door. Disable the hangar security. Did that do it? I think it did. Tried. Yes. Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or Wow. Look what we got here. Thieves and a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bomb's dead drop and we'll kill us all. Word. First of all, let's put shields on everybody. This could be a tough battle. Yes. Okay, let's deal with the henchmen first. I hope I can do this. Why are you standing here, bro? Like, what's... You need a special invitation? So annoying. You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those Sith. They'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Nice. I'm here. I love how the Mandalorian is just like standing there, like on parade or something. Like, come on. I don't remember the AI in this game being this stupid. Anyway, let me stop bitching. This looks just pretty. The bounty hunter escapes Davik's war suit. Arcanian energy shield. There's a lot of stuff here, okay? Okay. Okay, let's not waste all of it. What else is there we could put? Ooh, nice. Nice. Yeah, did we? No. 12 and 11. No, 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 no. These are not going to work for me. These are not working for me right now. Improved power blast. Yes, that's that's nice. Okay.
Yay! Time to escape. Time to escape. Let's do this, baby. Ebon Hawk. Pretty sure I do. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Damn, devastated. That was pretty epic. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Hard to see where they're shooting from. This is try number two. Yay, we did it. Second try. Is this Ethor? The second planet? Yeah. This is where the Jedi Council is, but I don't think it's Ethor. It's a different planet. Forgot. Dantooine. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe for Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. Dantooine, that's what it was. I apologize, guys. It was Dantooine. Okay. I agree with Basil. We should be safe here. We can get supplies here and recuperate. 
The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshun must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Okay. I can't switch characters. I gotta go talk to the Jedi Temple. Council. Alright, this is a good spot to save. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it a day here. This is a pretty good point to stop. But once again, look how crispy everything looks. This game did not look anything close to this back in 2003. Looks like how crispy every texture looks like. Anyway, I am now feel like, you know, I'm past this first point of Taris. And even though, like, I got to talk to the Jedi Council first, from this point forward, the game is really going to start opening up and feel like a more genuine open world experience where you know i go to different parts of the maps i talk to different npcs and there's just larger areas to explore i can't wait to jump on it again it's such a joy to go back in this game and I'll, not only to replay it and kind of like see it from a slightly different perspective now like remembering the scenes but also looking at them like basilis conversation and little nuances in her dialogue which are quite important to the central character of the plot and I'm also wondering how they're going to put all of this content into the remake and expand upon it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel. You know, you know the deal. Hit that bell button and do check out all my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.